Today we're going to share with you the one technique thing that almost all elite runners do and very few amateur athletes do. I'm Lindsay Perry from CoachPerry.com where we help you get fitter, faster and stronger. Over the years I've worked with hundreds of elite athletes from junior national level all the way to the Olympic Games and the one thing that they all have in common is that they do drills and they do them from an early age. Today we are going to talk about why drills are important and how you can implement them in your training to help you become a better runner. By now you're asking yourself what are running drills? Okay? Running drills are essentially a system of movements that help to improve your running coordination and over time they also improve the strength in the specific muscles that you need for running and as a combination over time those running drills then allow you to be able to move your limbs through the air faster they mean that your biomechanics improve improvements in posture and you guessed it there are different drills to work on these various aspects drills typically take the form of moving you through a system of sequences that get you limbering up and moving slowly to bigger and more ballistic movements and then ultimately towards the end to start having limbs moving in different directions at different times which completely throws out the brain that really improves your body's coordination many people think people without coordination become runners and we're not talking about hand-eye coordination but the better your own coordination is the better you will run one of the key factors is that most elite athletes are taught to do the drills at an early age and they have been doing them literally for years and years and years even though it can make a really good impact on your training by adding it in now we do have some limitations around our ability to do drills and do them effectively and part of that is that we don't always have the necessary mobility or strength to do the drills effectively I'm going to hand over to Shona so that she can talk you through how to work on your mobility and strength and why it is important as you embark on this journey of adding running drills to make you a better runner as Lindsay mentioned the pro athletes have been doing these drills since they were yay high and so they've got the mobility they've got the strength in order to really do these drills properly and get the maximum benefits out of them as as recreational runners or as a new runner you are probably going to need to do some extra mobility drills to allow your body to get into the the, the movements to be able to then do the coordination or the running drills properly and so some of these mobility drills are are, they're very easy to do there's some aspects that that are just allowing you to increase your your hip mobility and your hip range so that you can really move your legs through the the hip flexion and extension that we're looking for and in particular these mobility drills become even more important as we age because we're losing flexibility we want to ensure that we are still working on that mobility and, and the difference there between just being able to move your 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 joints around a particular range of motion but with stability and as we age the mobility aspects of that become so important if you get this mobility right you'll really start to be able to allow your body to move through the full range of motion for these drills as well strength training becomes as important and the reason for this is that if you are working on these uh, these drills that's great you're, you're teaching your body how to move but when we actually are running in a race or in training if that is not a, a learned action your body is just always going to default to what it knows and that might be that you're not then using all those new drills you've learned properly in your training run or in your race and so we really want to rely on strength training to allow that to become your default so that you don't have to always think about those things they just happen naturally as you are running in your training runs or your races now that you know how important drills are in your training let's talk a little bit about how often you should be doing them okay? like a lot of things in life that depends on how much time you've got elite athletes spend 
some of most of their, their um, days doing drills. For amateur athletes, I try to get them to do drills at least as part of their preparation and warm up for their high intensity sessions. So I would try and do these once a week and if you do have 15 to 20 minutes on another day, it's a great idea to add drills in a second day of the week. Well, I've got some good news for you at coachperry.com. We've put together a video specifically with drills that you can do that will take you through a really nice sequence. That means it's a good warm-up activation and improvements in your uh, running coordination. And you can click on screen now to download that video.